By now, pay later is soaring as Americans spend furiously to make up for lost real wages. A recent study found that Americans' use of buy now, pay later soared 14% from a year ago as pandemic savings dry up and real incomes fall. At this point, one in four Americans have used buy now, pay later loans, according to LexisNexis. In fact, over Black Friday, they accounted for 7.2% of all online sales, which is up 25% on the year. The Bank of International Settlements tallied it up to a roughly tenfold rise in buy now, pay later since pre-pandemic, with app use alone hitting 2.5 million people. According to a New York Fed study, it's particularly popular among the, quote, lower income and less educated. So why is buy now, pay later soaring? Partly because it doesn't report to credit bureaus. So Walmart, for example, lets you take on a buy now, pay later loan right at the self-checkout, no credit check required. Of course, this is a catastrophe waiting to happen, given that plans offer a 0% introductory rate that can ramp up to 36% if you miss a payment. The Wall Street Journal profiled one user who used buy now, pay later for his groceries, but he's not worried since unlike credit cards, they won't garnish his wages. They'll just stop doing business with him. All good fun until you multiply that by 80 million users, many of whom are presumably thinking the same thing. Keep going till your ball's deep, then walk away. Maybe make a mental note for the trillion dollar bailout that you, the taxpayer, will be paying in a couple years. Now, as you might expect, the overwhelming users of Buy Now, Pay Later are millennials, who have not just given up on buying a house or raising a family, they've apparently now given up on having a future credit score a lifetime of dodging collections bills and downloading new apps to pump until they stop doing business with them. In fact, one study earlier this year found that fully one-third of millennials say they are at risk of bankruptcy. So what's next? Brought to you by Unchained. The explosion in so-called phantom debt, like buy now, pay later, is a direct consequence of the Fed's catastrophic monetary experiment since COVID. By pumping out free money initially, They created these monsters, these lenders who don't care whether people can pay back, they just need the music to go on long enough to cash out. Meanwhile, the Fed's panic hikes over the past year have now fed millions of Americans into that financial wood chipper, chasing loans at whatever rate they can get to survive inflation and falling real wages. Like so much in this economy, we are running on fumes waiting for the next thing to break, with the supposed adults in the room only making it break faster. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.